Hello Aries, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are you all, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I want to do your taroscopes for the month of September 2021. This is for your sun signs, rising signs, or if your moon is in Aries, please tune in. Moon in Aries, that's an interesting combination, the masculine and the feminine en energies combined. Um, anyway, if you want to tune in for this reading, you're more than welcome. It is a general reading. If it resonates, pick it up. If it doesn't, uh, that's fine too. Come back to it uh, and it, you might get something out of it, you know, around mid-September. Mid this is a, a, a reading to prompt your own intuition, a guidepost only with any reading. It is up to you to use your intuition and bring forward what you need from the reading. Okay, I'm merely a channel. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. I'm using my Revealing Oracle card deck and also the Celtic Tarot, if I didn't say that already. All right, Aries, let's get started. Let's have a look. Wow, okay, so there's choices here. I'm getting straight away very strong choices. I'm getting that Seven of Cups energy. Um, this is around a need to make a choice, but you don't know which choice to make. It's a hard choice. All right, what's coming up for Aries in September? When I get those strong energies, I like to talk about them straight away. So finding your way and adapting. This is Virgo. Yeah, very much. In September, you will be um, looking to adapt the frog, uh, the green frog here in the rainforest. Um, this is around your uh, root chakra. Um, what's best for you? Uh but also adapting to certain conditions which you may not be able to change. Resilience. This is all chakra energy. This is good. These are good cards. Even during the darkest storm, there is illumination within. Within, Be your own guiding light and never give up. This is Taurus energy as well. Now, Uranus um, has been in Taurus um, for quite a while, and that's shaking everything up. And we could feel like we're in a a rowboat in a stormy sea but guess what you look like you're adapting and you're resilient um and this is learning the lessons as well uh and not doing things in the same way doing things differently that's good now we do have saturn energy here which is all about the need for change uh and to act on the lessons that you've learned at times not easy but often necessary something could be changing for you in september and you will adapt to those changes at the base of the pack we've got make it happen do what you love to do do what you love, love what you do. So this is Mars energy, very much your energy, Aries. Uh, this could be around your work, loving your work. Um, uh, but also, you know, there's creativity here as well. So I feel it's going to be a creative month for you. You're actually, it's going to be a doing month. Um, you are having to make a decision here, contemplating the future. Um, you will do what's right for you. Uh, I feel that you're going to bring forward that strength, that lion energy there uh, to adapt to changing circumstances. Now, there's a lot here around personal uh, personal challenges, but also work and doing and being and doing what you love to do. But there are decisions to be made around the, your future as well, Aries. Let's drill down with the Celtic Tarot and see what we've got here. Aries. What's happening for Aries? What's happening for Aries for the month of September 2021? Aries, what's happening? Aries, challenges, issues, opportunities, Aries. What's happening here? Okay, so we've got, um, ooh, Four of Swords. So you could have um, been in a bit of a battle uh, of late. Uh, but it's time to rest. It's time to rest and recoup. Um, uh, Four of Swords talks about retreat. So I think you inst 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 instinctly <laughs> know what to do, Aries. Uh, what is crossing? Yeah, hope, hope, the star. Coming, things coming back into balance, um, being optimistic about the future. So even though there's a retreat of some kind, you're still hopeful. What's in the foundations? Yeah, decisions. I got that really strongly. The Two of Swords having to make a decision. It's a heavy decision for you. 
Um, and you don't really know which way to go. But again, finding your way, adapting is very strong here and resilience. You will make the right decision. The Knight of Swords, again, this is, you know, battles, the Knight of Swords, the Four of Swords, um, facing a truth or a truth being revealed to you. Um, taking action on a truth but that's in the past okay so we're in the we're in the kind of stage here where we're contemplating where we go next and we've got the devil energy uh in the sky here the shadow so this is really uh the, it's only a potential it's crowning the reading it's not an actuality but be careful you don't move into any sort of toxic energy aries what's in the immediate future yeah so there is happiness, there is, the sun card is um, is all about happiness and joy. So you're going to experience that in some way. It's a beautiful card, isn't it, this baby holding sunflowers. Um, you're going to experience happiness in September. In amongst all of the tensions you've got going on. So look for that kind of release, liberation, happiness. The Father, this is your card, the Emperor card, taking control. You're taking control of a situation. It's what you do. It's what you do best. <sighs> taking control of insecurity. So there's a, the atmosphere around is like a contraction, but at the same time I've got an expansion for you, providing you uh, don't fall into that toxicity and that you make... You do need to make decisions. You're finding your way in this Aries. In the hopes and fears, we've got the lovers card, Gemini energy, relationships, hope, hopeful in relationships, but also fearful in them as well. This could actually even be a romantic, a lot of hope being generated in a romantic partnership. The three of cups, circles of support. Uh, this is the energy, the outcome. By the time you get to the end of September, you've got, these circles of support around you you've got joy and happiness in friendships and relationships uh the eight of uh pentacles here it is around your work i think the eight of pentacles uh gives you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and the knight of wands it motivates you it inspires you so um you are going to be much in a much stronger position by the end of september you at the moment at the base of the pack you've got this hermit energy september and it's all about work uh, but it's all about um, moving through any kind of issues that are troubling for you uh, and there's light at the end of the tunnel the seven of, of cups here this is what i saw when i opened up for your reading this is what's this is the underlying energies that are happening now that inform the position that you're moving to having to make a choice and the five of uh, pentacles feeling kind of left out in the cold um, locked out in a way uh, but you're moving through all of this right now you're moving through all of this and you're taking control of a situation or situations the only thing you do have choices to make the only thing you're finding a way you're adapting you're resilient the only thing you need to worry about is don't fall back into to any sort of toxicity. Give it a wide berth. Um, but I do think that by the end of the month, you kind of come through something um, through invoking your own energy, that, that taking control, making decisions, taking control. So I'll leave that there. Um, all the best in September, Aries. Uh, and I'll be back again for another reading um, for October. Bye for now.